it's five in the morning. There's a deer fucking around, and, and I gotta drive to work. But there's a deer somewhere in there. No. Please don't hit my car while I pull out. Zob Bros and Bears, today is a very momentous day in the road to GOAT. We are no longer in hypertrophy hell, so it is day one of our prep for the Ghost Clash. The Ghost Clash is 15 weeks away, so we got nine weeks until peak, which means we get three full two-week blocks. Coach Greg wants me to reduce my volume, so we are doing, doing two weeks on, one week deload. The off week is never truly off. It is always a deload week. Not only that, when I was peeing, I thought I had more good news, but it's just bench day. I really felt like I had more to say, but now that I look back at it, I, I didn't, I revealed all, all of my hand in a single sentence when I was trying to elongate it to like three or four sentences. Yeah, I forgot. It only took me taking my pants off to remember that it's no note November, so it's a big momentous day for um, the female race, I guess. Still not that big of news. Before we can lift, we gotta make the witch's brew. It is prescribed by my nutritionist, Briani Terry. So we take um, 55 grams of dextrose. This just happens to be gym brand because it's all the GNC had when I went there. One scoop and to scoop, seal that bad boy up so it don't spill, cause it's delicious. <coughs> and then we top that off with 10 ounces of OJ, pulp free, cause if my cum doesn't curl, then my orange juice won't either. And then we fill the rest of this witch's brew up, you see it's already green, with water and that's our intra-workout carbohydrates. Yes! And there you have it. It's uh, you can either call it a witch's brew or Shrek semen. But uh, first, before we start lifting, we got a foam roll into our activation series because it is always important to salt your water before boiling your pasta. You know, sometimes it gets to the point where you're like, ah, oh, that's not going to be that heavy based on the percentages because today is 75% bench. And then I forget that, you know, I have a pretty good bench. I bench 635 and I take my training match, max, which is 90% of that. And that's five something. I don't know. I didn't really check the calculator when I went through that. And then I do 75% of that training max, which comes out to 428. <clears throat> Blaze it. So we're doing 425, seven by two minimal rest. Um, I'm a little bummed um, on these minimal rest days, not because it's minimal rest days and it's actually technically cardio, but because um, I got my pedometer on my phone and my nutritionist, Brioni T Terry, wants me to get 7,500 steps every day. Um, otherwise, you know, she's gonna break into my house and, and like steal my kidney. Um, you know, the same stuff that Greg says and will hold me accountable to if I ever go off the program. So after every set of bench, seven by two, after two reps, I stand up, I walk around. I'm not getting those damn steps because I'm recording this shit for you guys. But you, you, you know, I love you.
That, my accidental children, is why you never base anything on feel. My body right now is used to hypertrophy and then a deload. So it's not used to heavy weight right now. So my 405 warm up felt heavy. The first set felt heavy. And by the end, I was just like, okay, let's just get it over with. It was a little slower. The, the last set was a little slower due to the intraset accumulated fatigue, which is the aim of this specific exercise is to accumulate as much, much fatigue as fast as possible because it's the sets that you can't, it's, it's, the, it's the harder sets that will build the muscle, the volume that's gonna build the appropriate muscle fibers. That's why maxing out every week doesn't work. You're not gonna accumulate the right type of fatigue and you're not gonna build the right type of muscles because you're not doing any volume. A little bit of volume there, seven by two, 425, blaze it. I don't do drugs, so I don't know any of the drug references. Is that the sex number or something? I don't know. Hello again, my nemesis. I realized I showed you my nemesis, Shaws, a, an entity in which I enter periodically, almost daily. However, I did not share with you what I purchased at Shaws, as if any of you actually cared. I got a fresh gallon of water because the gallon that I was using and refilling every day started smelling like it was fermented. That's usually what happens when you use the same non-reusable gallon for about two weeks. And then I got bagels because I'm allowed bagel. One plain bagel with nothing on it on training days. Talk about hating your life. And then I got the wife a salad because she's a fucking rabbit and that's rabbit food. Just kidding, she loves me.